your newest favorite techie, New World Optimist, back here. Uh, and we are moving along on the list that I created of all of the different projects that are trying to create a brand new internet. And um, I'm going to try to remember to put that link down in the description below on all of these videos. Uh, but for now, uh, um, we are going to take a look at Beaker and what Beaker is. So apparently this is something that we actually would have to install. So let's scroll down here a little bit and see what it's talking about before I go putting a bunch of stuff on my computer. Ah, uh, says, you know, typical information for projects of this type. They believe that the web should be a creative tool for everyone. Offers peer-to-peer -peer publishing. You can develop a website from your computer. No server required. Visitors connect directly to each other. Sharing your site's files and helping keep it online. And files are transported with the peer-to-peer -peer network instead of being locked away in a server so you can explore all the files that make up a website or app. Let's take the tour. So this is what browsing with a beaker will look like. Um, it's experimental. Just like other browsers, you can browse the HTTP and HTTPS websites as well. So it's fully integrated. All right, so Beaker also supports a peer-to-peer -peer protocol called DAT. What is DAT? Uh, which means you can browse DAT websites like dat.beakerbrowser.com. And it appears that website is down. Ooh, yeah, 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 I did not like that, okay. So on a P2P network, peers can re-upload content and help keep it online. In Beaker, we call this seeding, but you might also hear it called hosting or pinning. Okay, you can see the peer for that, for a debt site in the URL bar. All right, here we go, hello world. Okay, I think I've, I've kind of seen enough. Let's actually, let's go ahead and install it. Sale so for my piddly little windows. Okay, welcome to Beaker. All right, configure preferences as a browser for exploring and building peer-to-peer -peer web. Set Beaker as the default for dat URLs. Yeah, sure. Create and host websites. Create and host websites from a computer, no server required. The default directory where you'll be saved is at in my sites folder, okay? get started, start exploring the peer-to-peer -peer web. So do we want to create a website, see what others have built, or learn more? So open, if I right click, I can open the link in the new tab. It is not liking this. There we go. Oops. <laughs> okay, so I can still reopen close tab. Very good. All right. Let's see, podcast. While we wait for that tab to open, we will continue looking. Let's see, a hash base. Help keep your files online. Uh, social networking apps. So Fritter is a Twitter-like social feed app. Let's check out Fritter. And there's the source if you want it. Rotonda, a decentralized social network. And a cover page creator for Fritter. All right, so I think that's enough. Let's see. Cast isn't opening yet. Oh, timed out. Okay, I did not like that one. Did not like Hashbase. 
Ah, uh, here's the other one for hash base. So what happened with... Oh, I see the podcast. It didn't like the podcast. Peer-to-peer -peer seating services. Ah, so this takes us to their YouTube channel. Hello, everybody. I'm going to show you just how fast and easy it is to create a new website using Beaker and then upload it to Hashbase. I've We've had enough of that. If you want to check out the rest of it, you can. Now, Beaker has created this file path for us here. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. So that was Hashbase. If you want to create your own website on Beaker, let's go to Fritter. All right, example Twitter clone. It demonstrates how, how to build peer-to-peer -peer web applications with the Beaker browser dat and webdb. Uh, you create profile. Do I have to add an avatar and all that? New archive, create a new archive and add it to your library. Use profile for Fritter example app. Okay, create archive. Ah, okay. Make sure your profile stays online. Share your profile URL with a public peer like Hashbase. Feeling ambitious? Deploy your own public peer. Let's see, so can I follow Paul? Got some new notifications. We're gonna follow Tara. Got a lot more notifications. Okay, so let's see. Replying to my post. All of those bother me, but I figure three is the scariest. It's not my post. So what's the most scary thing social networks like Twitter and Facebook do? Show advertisements, steal your data, or curating your feed. You only see what they want you to see. Yeah, okay, Paul, I would agree. Three is pretty scary. All right, so here's our fritter. Fritter looks like it's pretty fun. Uh, I don't know how many people are on here, but if you'd like to go tinker around with it. There you go, let's move on. Rotunda. Uh, so is it just docs or do I have a live version? Oh, that's the wiki. Ah, but it's on there, so let's check out their wiki. a lot of information. Okay, and that's something that I can play around with. And that's what I want to do. I'm going to tinker with stuff here. Alright. Oh, let's follow you on Fritter. But that was the cover page builder. So we followed him. Let's go back. Okay, I guess that's all we can do with that. Let's continue on. So we've got blogging and writing tools. What is that, Enoki? Okay, let's see how they look between the DAT and the HTTPS sites. There's the DAT. Enoki's already loaded on the HTTPS. DAT is still swirling there, so. Dad addresses are definitely a little bit slower. I can understand why. P2P version available. An experimental platform tool for peer-to-peer -to -peer publishing. Free. Culture wants to be free. No monthly hosting fees or billing to keep up with. Decentralized. 
No internet, no problem. Sync changes automatically when reconnecting. Own your content. Archival, usually go back in time and revert to previous versions of your site whenever. And open source. So very cool. And that's about it. Did it load over here? It's still scrolling over here. So the data addresses definitely need some help. If we wanted to request an invite. Okay. Success. All right, well, I have no invite. So I guess we will just have to wait. Still trying to load that. Okay. Pipe it. So the DAT website versus HTTPS. Something tells me we're going to have an issue with the DAT. So here's Pipe it dev blog, blogging platform built on top of DAT, Beaker Browser, Netlify CMS, and Hugo. So it says hello from my temporary location in East Vancouver. My name is Jim Pick. Oh, I can click on that link. What does that take me? Ah, jimpick.com. So he's got his own website there, the Indie Web Summit. Oh, okay. Nice little blog there if you'd like to check out Jim's blog. Okay, is there a demo? I'm going to put together a demo in the next few days. Can't wait. Can you give me a quick breakdown of how to make a new blog? So this uh, is the directions that he has so far, but I don't think it's gotten any further than this. I'm sure if we give Jim some encouragement uh, that he might start working on it again. Well, if you're a developer and you want to look at Pipette some more, you might find it interesting. You aren't the owner of this blog, so you can't edit it. Okay, but you can fork it inside Beaker Browser and make your own. So let's fork it. Uh, sure, you know what, I'll just leave it that way. Blogging platform. Some files have not been downloaded and will be missing from your copy. Create copy anyway. Finish downloading files. Who wants me to log in? What am I supposed to log into? Oh, there is no logging in. Oh, so now I can create my own. It's reading my location correctly. I can create my own blog on here. Sure you want to leave this page? Yeah. No entries. Let's see, settings is just log out. Hmm. Okay, and that's about all that I can do. Test. Oh, updates in real time. Hello world. Cool. Okay. Let's go to Netlify. Of course, the DAT one is going to take forever, and I don't think they have an HTTPS one. Oh, Jim Pick hash base. Okay, let's see. Maybe let's try Orky. It'll take a while to load. Let's take up Solo. An archetype, an experimental system to organize and exhibit works of art on a peer-to-peer -peer network. Right, let's see if I can get any of these to load. Netlify, fork the dat, no, that's just the blog. Oracle. Oops, Oracle. <laughs> if you are reading this, then you probably forked the site successfully. I totally didn't know that I did, but yay. Uh, there's, this is a short guide on how to use Oracle. It's not really that hard. 
writing a new entry, publishing, modifying entries, go to home page. Okay. Uh, but obviously I did not fork it. So if you have an older Beaker browser, open the, oh my god, okay, no, we're not going through all this. Solo, the simplest publishing tool. <laughs> if it's any simpler than Oracle. Um, okay, so in uh, this is the maker. I won't see any world changing blockchain projects here. I'm interested in the small and what's after now, the alternative form, a new spirit of computation. Very nice. Small, of course we need the small as well fascinating but that's about as far as we can go page not found for archetype all right other apps pixelize convert images on pixon let's see a ritter an rss reader tiddly wiki i don't think it opened that one there we go Hypercast, peer-to-peer -peer broadcasting, in browser text editor, search engine for the Rotonda network, dot grid, in browser SVG editor, word and character count tool. If anything, I am testing the limits of having these tabs open. I think it stopped. So roto search, dot grid. Oh yeah, so that's the maximum amount of tabs I can have open? No, just taking a while. Okay, so let's go over here to pixelize. Choose an image. What is this? A tool for generating uh, an image and pixelize it. Then download or copy the generated pics on Made by Terra. Alright, so you're just trying to pixelate an image. All right, so, whoa, there we go. That's kind of cool. Generate Pixon. Okay, well, there you go. If you need to make, <laughs> it's a really long, drawn out process to make a pixelated photo. Can I change the, oh, yeah, there you go. If I wanted to make the pixels larger or smaller, there's non-pixelated. It's pretty, right? and super pixelated. So there's Pixelize. So, yep. Tiddly Wiki is not there. What's Ritter? Fork Ritter. Data's owned only by you. No algorithms. Hello and about. Okay, source code. La a set and lunch type. Right, yeah, peer-to-peer -peer broadcasting. But it does not appear that we have something that we can click on. So we'd actually have to build this for ourselves. Okay, interesting. So, dat file editor. Uh, I'm not even going into that. What's this? Roto search. Search for. I don't know. Uh, pixies. Got that pixelated stuck in my head. There are no pixies on this internet yet. That's a shame. We gotta get some up here. We really do, guys. Is that share? Seed these files while visiting. Oh, for up to a week. Okay, so you can seed the files as well. See, dot grid is a no go. Dot grid icon. Well, if you want the icon. Okay, so word and character count tool. I don't know what that is. Let's see what count. Oh! Well, this is very simple. So, hello. Hell. Hello world. Hello world. Real time, okay, that's pretty cool. I wonder if I, what would happen if I were to put the dictionary in there. I'd love to know how many words and characters are in there. 
um, GLTF to GLB Packer. Drop a GLTF and its associated .bin file and textures here. Then you can convert it to a PNG or convert PNG to JPEG. Ah, okay. KHR materials unlit. I don't know what that is. Not helpful. Okay. Out box. Bring up both websites. Oh, it just takes us to his Twitter. Oh, so you could follow him on Twitter. I'm not going to sign in, but that's the actual Twitter. And this tweet was made back in April. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. That's that's the chat app, which is just Twitter. Um, so to connect out boxes, you got to go to there, both you and your buddy fork it. Name the fork something that will remind you of who you are connecting with, like Ring Samantha. Oh, so this would definitely not be good if you have somebody, if you're somebody who collects friends that you don't interact with on social media. Yeah, you'd have 5,000 files of rings. But, still might be fun for some of you to play around with. Okay, we got a game, a couple games here. Conquest, Exploder, and Farben. It's Exploder, what's Exploder? So I just click around and I explode everything. This might kill a few hours when we're out on the road. Maybe just smoke a little if I got it. <laughs> Just watch this all night long. Okay. I'm done with that. So, what's Conquest? Huh? Okay. Computer folks might know what this is. Is this a... What do I have to do? I don't know what I have to do here. What's that? Chase you around. Oh, you change color. Oh, well, I don't feel like making you guys watch me make a fool of myself. So, if you know how to create or play this game, Creation X Conquest, there you go. Uh, 256 Farben. Plus space, press space to begin and use your right and left arrow keys to move. Oh, there we go, like Brick Bricker. Oh, that's this would take a while. It's like pong. Wow! Uh, eh. Ah, I'm done. Oh, you can change the background if you want a different color. Okay, cute. Art. Self portrait. Any browser, Tor browser, Beaker browser, and you're gonna lean your head to the left a little. Read that, or I want to click on it. So if you want to go over oh, dot onion address and her Beaker browser address, I see. What does this do? Well, hello, hair. It's just hair. What happens if I click on this? Her hand and her hair. Oh, I see an eyeball. Yes, hello, hello. There we go. Okay. Well, what's a paintings? One hundred nineteen fifteen by nineteen paintings. Ah. So there you go. If you wanted to have your own digital gallery, you can just scan your and take photos of your paintings and put them on. Okay. Beautiful art. Okay. Demos. Peer to peer live streaming. That just takes us to Twitter. Back to that hypercast. 
Uh, we get a small example, but not much. I don't think they've done very much. Oh, it's got a significant delay. Tutorials and explainers. So put your website on a peer-to-peer -peer web. Video presentations. And developer tools. And a 90s style... <laughs> A 90s Yahoo style director of peer-to-peer -peer websites and blogs. So let's see, peer-to-peerweb.com. There we go. Log in, subscribe, join the mailing list. Berlin, Los Angeles, New York City. Ah, you can subscribe if you want. These are all their events. Okay, so decentralizedweb.net, not found. When I did reopen closed tab though, yeah, okay. So if you feel like going through and uh, looking through these websites or building your own and you want to come back and comment on this video or share your website that you have built on this browser. Um, I definitely love to see it. Uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I believe that is it Ooh, for... okay. I believe that is it for Beaker. And next video we will be moving on to... Which one is it? Consensus. All right. I will see you guys then.